Hey, what is going on, everyone? We are back with another review. Today's review is going to be on Florida Ramon from the Diecast Line 2017. As you guys see, Florida Ramon here is in the Florida 500 series. I've actually not done a 2018 Diecast review in a while. The last one I did was fully movie here with Launcher. And I think I reviewed that in very beginning of December of 2017. So yeah, it has definitely been quite some time since I reviewed a 2018 Diecast. But this is going to be my first 2018 Diecast review that is in a single packaging. I do have two others. If you watched my birthday haul, you already know who the two are that I'm referring to. And before we start this video, I just want to say that there will be a poll that pops up in the right hand corner of your screen right now. It's popping up right now. Go click on that and you'll be able to vote on which 2018 thing you want me to review next. Of course, the first option is Hong Cho, which is Miguel Camino's pity. Or the second option, which is the other option that can win over Miguel's pity is Tom W. here. The Rusty's Racing Center Trainee in the Rusty's Racing Center Series, of course, which everyone gets the most votes, I will review next. Nonetheless, though, let's get right into the packaging of Florida Ramon here. So, as you guys see, we have Florida Ramon in white text down here on the red name tag. Also, has it in a different language, as with the 2018 package, it seems like every single package will have international languages, whether or not you live in the United States. Because, as you guys see, it has Florida Ramon in another language right there. I'm not sure what language that is. It may be Spanish, I'm not entirely sure. Of course, as it says, it's in the Florida 500 series. You can see a little Florida 500 logo right there. The background is light blue, which is very nice. I love the background for all the 2018 singles. It's like a blurred picture of the desert and Raider Springs, I do believe, so that is very cool. Also love the art for Florida Ramon, so yes, the card arts are back for the 2018 mainline, and I really do like that a lot, as the arts definitely did bring some lot stuff, better stuff to the packaging, so I'm glad they returned it, and they didn't abandon it officially. And you have the updated cards logo. On the back, they can show you... Car Street Lane McQueen, Jackson Storm, Rusty's Cruise and Mirrors, and Manny McGear. There are some of the other ones that will be available in the Florida 500 series for 2018. We have a nice picture of the Florida 500, which looks pretty sweet. The updated Cars logo is up there. And, of course, here's a little description for the series. It says, it's the opening race of the Piston Cup season. Who will ho take home the championship? And it does say that in different languages as well. Alrighty guys, so I started the NSA, so let's take Florida Ramon here out of the package. Alrighty everyone, so here we got the Florida Ramon here out of the package, looking super amazing. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite paint jobs out of all the Ramon paint jobs that Mattel has released over the past 12 years. I just love the unique design to it, and it's just really, really cool in my opinion. So, let's get right into the review of it, and also that's probably why I decided to review this first, other than Hong Cho or Tom W. And of course, Ramon's a classic, so I definitely want to review him first. Nonetheless, though, let's get right into the review. As you guys see, he has a very determined expression. As you guys see, he is smiling. His mouth is not open, though. You can see his blue eyes, flat eyelids. And here's the design on his hood. It looks super cool. It has two different colors to it. One's more of a darker color. One goes to, like, an orangish sort of color. You can kind of see him going off to the sides right there. It's pretty cool. You can also see some blue little line designs thing on the sides right there. If you look closely, there, of course, there is his traditional two-piece artist mustache right there, which is supposed to resemble an artist's mustache for being separate and that is definitely accurate for Ramon as I get as I guess in the cars world painting cars and different paint jobs is like an artist in the cars world so that's really cool you see that same little blue design going all the way to the back and you can see some orange then it kind of separates to lines of orange and it goes back to a completely orange without separating if you know what I'm trying to say. We have the same sort of design that was on the hood. It's going toward the right side. So it's like curving toward the right side right there. And not exactly sure what this little black thing is. It might be his gas cap. Not entirely sure. There's his rims. They look like to have a little gold nice color into the middle of it. I have no clue what the white text on it says though. It's a little bit hard to read. But it looks like just some numbering or something like that. But it's super small to read. There's of course his gray windows. And if you look closely on the window, I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera. But you can kind of see a little bit of coloring in there. That's supposed to be a Raider Springs logo in my opinion. I forgot which Ramon I remember seeing that on. But I think it was Raider Springs Ramon. But... I like this Raider Springs logo on the back window, and I find that very cool, actually, although it's barely, barely visible on this version. 
On the back right here, we have Low and Slow. Of course, that's his traditional license plate. His taillights are pretty unique, in my opinion. You don't really see taillights like this in the modern world nowadays, or modern cars world still. And, of course, his design is really cool. It kind of goes indents more as it gets toward the middle. It kind of, like, sticks out, if you know what I mean, toward the end. I just love Ramon's model. love the character on its own. Ramon is definitely one of my favorite Raider Springs times, if not my favorite Raider Springs time, because I just love his character, and I'm glad that he appeared in all of three movies. That was very awesome. And you can all see his black face with some Mattel information on it. So far, this Florida Ramon die kills here has only been released once in 2018 Case B for the 2018 singles line. One person reported of finding it at a Target store. I believe only one person has reported of finding it so far. And of course, he is available on eBay. That's exactly how I got it. My parents got him off eBay for my birthday. As for his appearance in the movie, he appeared at the Florida 500, or unless he wouldn't be called Florida Ramones, so that's kind of obvious, but anyway, he appeared at the Florida 500 in McQueen's pit row, and of course, he mainly, you're mainly able to see him with this paint job when he's giving Ramon, um, not Ramon, when he's giving Cruz the Rusty's paint job, because of course, when McQueen pits, he decides to take Cruz out there to give her her chance, and that was very nice of McQueen, but anyway, she... He mainly is shown with this paint job during then that's how that's where you mainly see this paint job. And yeah, I just really love this paint job and it does not top the intro Ramon though in my opinion. But this is my second favorite paint job that Ramon had in Car Street, and that's basically mainly where Ramon appeared in the four to five hundred paint job. Now, a great thing is that I actually have the Mini Racer version of Florida Ramon and the Disney Store Chaser version of Florida Ramon. So I basically have every single version of Florida Ramon from Mini Racer to actual diecast to the Disney Store. And you can just see the comparison between all of them. Of course, this one's the biggest, this one's medium size, and this one's the smallest one. Let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite the Disney Store Florida Ramon, the diecast of Florida Ramon, or the Mini Racer. So let's give a 360 of this amazing 155 skill diecast made by Mattel, and that will be the end of this video. Alright everybody, so that will do it for my review of Florida Ramon here. Thank you guys so much for your watching, and thank you guys all for your crazy support recently. Let me know your rating on the diecast of Florida Ramon right here. And of course, don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite version of Florida Ramon. Of course, the diecast, Disney Store, or Mini Racer. And of course, do not forget to vote on the poll. You can still do it right now. Just click on the little icon that kind of looks like an eyeball. Just tap on that and you'll be able to vote on which 2018 diecast we want me to review next. Of course, it's Hong Cho versus Tom W. We will see who wins. But anyway, I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out.